All right, folks, today's quick video um, about a bug with Android Auto, and it's most noticeable, um, I know for sure, on the Galaxy Note 9, the new Note 9. Uh, a lot of people are having problems with using Android Auto with their Note 9, and it doesn't affect all vehicles. It seems to be a certain combination of vehicles and phones. So if you're having the problem where when you connect to Android Auto, uh, your maps, your buttons and everything are out of whack, um, I'll give you an example of what it looks like here. So I'm going to connect my phone. All right, so we're going into Android Auto here. Okay, so if I go into the map, you'll see if I try to... I can move the map around, but if you try to press any of the buttons, they don't work. And if I press a little above that, all of a sudden it'll make it kind of work. If I go to try to hit any of these buttons over here, they're just not working. Everything's out of whack. But these buttons down here, in my case, they work okay. It's just in certain programs, they don't work. So I kind of figured out the problem. I'll show you what you need to do. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect here. Go into our phone. If you go into your settings, and remember, this is not a permanent solution. This is kind of just to get you by. Um, they definitely need to release a patch for this and fix it properly. And I don't know if, like I said, if it's it's obviously if it's a Google issue or a Samsung issue. Um, leave a comment below if this is happening to you on something besides a Samsung phone. But anyway, I'm going to go into my display settings here. And the resolution, I have set at WQHD, and that's the problem. For some reason, it's not compatible with Android Auto in my setup and a lot of other people's setup. So if you just change the resolution to FHD and, you know... Kind of silly, I got to do that. I'm trying to take advantage of this beautiful screen, but you don't really notice a difference. Not enough that I'm going to worry about it for now. So we'll switch that back out and we'll go back to the home screen here. All right, so I'll plug the phone back in. All right, now we're back in Android Auto. Let's go back to our map screen. See, now if I press the buttons, everything works as it should. So everything works now, just like it should. All right, so hopefully this video helps some of you out. Like I said, it's just a temporary solution um, and it seems to fix the problem. So if you're pulling your hair out, maybe this will help you out. Leave a comment below, like, and be sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks.